Good evening, friends. Welcome to Technocrate Virtual Views. I am Dr. Ganesh, a senior scientist and the cancer's genetic expert from Jawaharlal Nehru Cancer Hospital, Bhopal. Would like to share some health issues and their benefits to maintain the diet and the awareness. Dear friends, health is very important. Now we are staying in the era of nosocomial infections, so many diseases and multi-drug resistant population. My humble request, listen this video properly so that you can guide the slum peoples, the unaware peoples, the colleges, the school guys, so that the populations of world can be aware about the disease and the health hazards by having a nonsense habits during the day and day out. Let us finish. Let us start my awareness program in with regards to the cancer. As a cancer specialist, we are seeing that the trend of cancers because of the dietary management, because of the lifestyle, because of the contraceptions, multi-drugs uses, it has been increasing day in day out. The thing is like, the cancer is not a disease, it's a multifactorial associated factors which induce the disease in the body system. It is having a numerous uh, uh, original factors like environmental, chemical mutagens, physical mutagens, are toxicity because of the environment, are toxic because of the pollutions, are genetic factors, are dietary, are behavior, lifestyle, uh, and uh, the reproductive habits. These are the common factors which associate uh, to induce cancer in uh, one individuals. We can't say right now it is a single factor which induces cancer, but it's a multifactorial factor which causes cancer in the society, in the individual system. Let us start with the signs and symptoms of cancers. A cancer of mouth, if you see, is the first gate to have an uh, individual can open every day, every night, every hour, every minute. When they take yawning, when they do brushing, when they have sipping of water or any juices, they eat fruits, they eat vegetables, they eat foods and junk foods. And every part of life, we are going to interact our mouth, a first organ to be interacted in the life system. And you know that the India is the biggest contribution, contributed uh, population in the world to have oral cancer in high risk. The world scenario is almost uh, facing multiple uh, cancer in male and females, but on top leading cancer in male are mouth cancer, in females are breast cancer. No doubt is just because of the chewing habits of tobacco and alcohol boozing with combination of tobacco may induce increased rate of uh, oral cancer in the populations. But my dear friends, let us clear out the signs and symptoms why it happening and what is the sign you can catch out in the early lesions. And as we welcome our guests with the red carpet and green carpet, carpet welcome, the same way the God has blessed with the mouth with mic microflora and oral flora uh, uh, scenario. And the moment the cancer occurs, it gives us signals. It has three gates. First gate is the patches, the color patches, white, blue, green, black, red. And second gate is um, uh, lowering of mouth opening, that is submucous fibrosis. And the third is uh, the oncogenesis, the new plastic system in oral flora, the buccal mucosal, the tongue, the base of tongue, the floor of mouth, the um, gingival, the gums, the, the pharynx, the larynx, the tonsil, the whole association uh, which uh, contributes ma mouth. Um, uh, fascinating object in the system and it causes <coughs> it causes uh, early lesions in when the people are going to have a, uh, this kind of habits like tobacco arachnid, uh, tobacco habits, chewing arachnid, uh, cigar, the smokes, the cigarettes, the beads, uh, the naswas, the uh, toothpaste made by the tobacco, uh, this all jointly activate and damage the cells. The simple reason is that these notorious compounds which is present in the cigarette, uh, the BDS and tobacco origin products, uh, they, uh, they initiate the uh, oxidation of, extra oxidation of the cells and that increases the lipid products raised, the free radically liberators and so many diseases can occur in the body system, not only the oral uh, floor but also in any, in any uh, part of the body. Uh, uh, the only nail and uh, the hair 
yeah, does not have cancer origin but extra every or, uh, organs do interact with the cancer uh, manifestation when you have going to have this kind of habits let me see how we, we, we notice while having a brush what we do in maximum Indian population is in subcontinents we do brushing morning the moment we wake up we take brush paste and start brushing the pattern any, any pattern and then we have a breakfast we go to the school office colleges clinics we eat lunch we skip lunch either we take an evening tea then dinner then go to sleep hardly 15 to 20 percent of the world uh, the asian population do proper brushing in the morning and night but in india when we see it is hardly seven eight population percent of population do agree with that uh, do do follow uh, the brushing habits in both the time but what we have to do it to avoid this all the morning you wake up take your finger mouthwash you first take your finger and roll on your mouth floral if it is slippery slimmery it means that you don't have any problem the micro mouth floor is excellent the thing is when the moment you get the roughness on the body uh, the mouth floor just open your mouth see the mirror and examine whether the color is white red blue black or green dark green in color it is an indication that you have an early sign of cancer it is reversible as chemical reaction some reactions are reversible this process is also reversible how we can reverse it back the normal um, uh, buccal mucosa the thing is like you have to do gargling you have to take um, ampoule of uh, water clean water do gargling properly and spit nicely you have yawning process you must yawn properly and you must uh, take whatever the milk uh, the juices the 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 the, the curd the buttermilk the fruit juices the fruit biting habits anything what you eat keep it for a second in your mouth for count five one to five for a second five seconds then swallow it so that the the content which is there in the food which goes right to the my, my um, the buccal mucosa will go uh, in time with the uh, cell system with this um, micronutrients and micronutrients directly and within 20 seconds is go to the cardiac system and supplies the organ Otherwise, what will happen? The moment we swallow directly, it goes to the intestine. Almost 30 minutes to one and a half uh, hours it takes for a food assimilation. Then it's defecate, and maximum compound is defecate out. So wasting this off kind of energies, investing hell of money for the food, and wasting like this is something which is losing uh, the sense of um, ethics of eating uh, habits. What you have to do it like you have to churn nicely. You have to keep the food nicely. When you take a juices, keep it in the mouth. And count one, two, three, four, five. Then swallow it. Ultimately, your the system is flourished with the antioxidant systems. It is going to flourish with the phytochemical uh, compound in the fruit and vegetables. And ultimately, the damaged cells will repair. And hence, the the this is this kind of lesions, which is leukoplakia, melanoplakia, erythroplakia, can be reversible in the system. This is, this is how you can save your mouth. Secondly, if you are not going to follow it, the second step is some mucus fibrosis. The mouth opening should be four finger. It should not be two, one or half or say three. It should be four finger normally. If it is not, it may be because of you are going to ha go, uh, you are having a bad habit like tobacco, alcohol, chewing habits, smoking habits. If you are not taking this, you might be taking a tea more than three, two times or four times. If you're not taking a tea, you might be taking a hot milk, hot diet, or very chill diet. That is the uh, these are the associated factor which causes this kind of fibrosis. Ultimately, leads to cancer. You know, um, uh, if, if it if it is mutated, it may lead to cancer in the uh, in, in near futures. What you have to do it for this to stop some mucus fibrosis, you have to do churning properly. The moment I'm uh, the the way I'm doing, just do it properly. The lower jaw should be moved like this. Like th the moment you do this exercise, the, the jaw opening will be proper and yawning properly. The, the way I am doing, just do it like that. And slowly just count. One, two, three, four, five. The moment you open and then close. This is the exercise you have to do it. If you are going to yawn it properly, don't stop your yawning. The yawning is one of the best exercises to uh, give us, uh, will not going to interfere the uh, submucous fibrosis on your system, mouth system. 
though you have to do it properly then fill up bowl of water make a ballooning and then spit out the uh, the way we do in the childhood we uh, uh, fill the water and make a ballooning out and spit on the uh, the, the friends you know the, the we we play uh, game in the childhood do it right now but don't spit on the person but spit on the ground but forcefully spit do it gargling properly flush out nicely for this all kind of symptoms for oral cancer you are, you can stop it very nice so only with the one when when chapter like brushing habit the moment you brush properly first thing you have to do it the morning you come uh, wake up uh, from the bed you take a bowl of water gargle nicely and spit out then take a mouthwash any mouthwash you can take if you are not rich enough please mind to take up a glass of water add salt add clove in hindi we call long add uh, tulsi leaf that basil leaves and add uh, aloe vera that is neem um, leaf in that boil it nicely and then take a oral rinse nicely 3 4 times and spit out otherwise take any standard oral rinse take two uh, spoon add four spoon of water make it nicely gargle spit out then have after 5 10 minutes you can have a breakfast <laughs> after breakfast you can do brushing after brushing you can go anywhere you want during the time of lunch you again do gargle or any plain gargle water gargle then have a lunch gargle uh, mouth wash properly then have a break a dinner then wash your uh, mouth properly then during sleep uh, before sleep what you do it like you have to do brushing then followed with oral rinse then sleep if you are going to have this habit no microflora no bacterial no fungal in tract in your mouth and will not going to have ulcer that prolonged ulcer interacting with tobacco will leads to cancer in your future this is the one of the best habit you can do it and second the leading cancer is the breast cancer the breast cancer is in by um, um, uh, like uh, both the gender will going to have breast cancer the male also and the female also but as the female have the mammary gland the breast uh, tissues are much more um, uh, denser than the male Uh, that's why the female have more prone for breast cancer otherwise the male also have breast cancer because the rays of estrogen white happening there are few things don't wear the tight dresses my dear uh, female friends and the boys those who are bulky uh, chest don't wear the tight dresses have a loose dress and mind the signs and symptoms which is, which is commonly distributed for male and female both the nipple should be on a straight line if you quiz the nipple there should not be any discharge the nipple should not everted back it should not be goes inside it should not be have any crevices which makes nipple uh, uh, will not going to protrude out it is inside and secondly uh, you, you have to see that you have to keep your uh, arm uh, onto your waist bow down both the chest muscles should hang if it is not hanging maybe a single cell which interact to the system which is new plastic in nature which is going to hold the breast tightly so it could not allow the breast to hang this is the sign positive sign for breast cancer hold the hand like this raise the hand the chest case goes up so that the muscles also it is not going up it is hanging down mind it a single cell which is interacting with the new plastic nature in the breast system uh, tissue system of the breast we are not going to allow the breast to go up so that this two sim, uh, system uh, symptoms you can mind it uh, the hanging of breast should be proper the going of breast bilaterally should be proper if it is not there you must check your um, um, uh, yourself with the gynecologist or any leading uh, cancer consultant who can uh, do screening breast self screening program can you can join either you go for mammography and in mammography again a myth is there uh, the middle uh, the uh, age less than 40 Uh, can do uh, mammography or not no it is not it is not advisable that less than 40 age can go for mammography it should be plus 40 only if it is fnc positive mandatory the consultant says that you have to go for mammography any age can go for mammography otherwise down 40 so no mammography is the only choice of uh, investigation which can uh, uh, see whether it is um, uh, some tumor lesion is there inside your breast or not then you can go for mammography uh, with the plus 40 uh, early once if it is uh, high risk as per the advice of the radiologist you can go for twice otherwise 
वंस इन एयर और वंस इन टू ईयर यू कैन गो फॉर स्क्रीनिंग ऑफ यूर सेलिब्रेस सेकेंडली इफ यू हैव अ डिस्चार्ज फ्रॉम दूर डिम्पल डोंट गेट पैनिक द डिस्चार्ज मे बी ऑफ एनी कलर प्लीज गो टू एनी पैथोलॉजिस्ट गेट चेक योर साइकोलॉजी डन पैपिस मेयर कैन बी डन इट्स हार्डली वन फिफ्टी रुपीज और टू हंड्रेड रुपीज और फाइव हंड्रेड मैक्सिमम एंड विद इन टू टू आवर्स और से ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स योर रिपोर्ट विल बी देयर ऑन योर हैंड एंड यू कैन गेट रेड ऑफ योर टेंशन बिकॉज दैट साइन एंड सिम्टम अगेन इंडिकेट्स दैट यू मे हैव पैगेट डिसीज either you have ductal carcinoma either has some infection inside the breast that may leads to hyper um, placed uh, hyperplastic na- in nature if they may leads to dysplastic in nature and further it may give a new plastic in nature of your breast and uh, you have to go for surgical resection of the breast also for young females um, you must go for uh, breast conservation also you don't require uh, uh, mastectomy total removal of the breast but my advice is if it is a stage 2 uh, plus if it is lymph node positive then it is ling- uh, the lymph node clearance and the total breast resection is one of the best option don't get panic we have prosthesis in the world best prosthesis you can go go for it but save your body to remove the breast in a once secondly why the breast cancer induce uh, let i talk about the main they go to the gym they do uh, uh, chest muscles exercise they go for tricep bicep exercise for the model show for the uh, for their fashion uh, my dear friends for boys please don't go for chest exercise if you are not going to inc- uh, continue this exercise till 60 years uh, because i have seen many 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 boys for the fashion they do for 3 4 years uh, they complete their college and they stop this exercise and ultimately uh this breast muscles required exercise and it's not going to get exercise the estrogen may raise and ultimately leads to cancer those who take a uh, protein powder which is uh, highly recommended by the gym uh, gym instructor please avoid that it is contain lot of toxins which induce breast cancer ultimately it contain a whey protein the estrogen increasing element which is come from the soy bean product So, my dear friend, those who have bulky chest, those go to the gym, stop soya milk, soya product, soya nuggets, soya uh, oil also. They can have olive or any other oil of any grades, which is recommended by the doctors. But stop taking this. Any history of the cancer of breast in family, stop taking uh, soya product because the soya product contains a compounds. which increases the estrogen level and hence it causes the breast cancer in any any gender not only the breast cancer increase in, uh, by increment of the estrogen but in young females pcod polycystic ovarian disease or pcos also caused by um, uh, this notorious uh, compound so my dear friends the young uh, females the mother uh, those who carry the young females please avoid feeding uh, soya product to your female please avoid tight dresses outfits to your chest and to the groin so that let the organ uh, grow let the lymphatic drainage should be properly let the lymphatic action the, the hormone action should be properly in the system uh, the, the re- recommended um, who uh, dressing sense for young generations for adults for teenage is like for teenage is 3 to 4 hours for adults like 5 to 6 hours should not wear more than that if you are wearing a tight jeans you are wearing anything tight or fits go to the washroom go to the loo uh, uh, clear, clear out your vest clear your chest for a seconds then again we are put on your uh, belt and um, uh, trousers or any tight dresses then you come back to your, uh, for your job